So it's no secret that anywhere you go in the country, bass fishermen, one of the first things that we're going to seek out to catch that first bass of the day is gonna be wood cover. Um, it can be stumps like what's surrounding this boat right now, or it can be, you know, it's very commonly lay downs, and you can even, you know, throw boat docks, wooden boat docks into that too. So, you know, really you can think, well, anything, any bait would work next to a good piece of wood. I mean, that's true to an extent, but I like to increase my efficiency and, and I, I don't like to pick through my boat and always be retying and re-rigging. So I kind of have three staples that I like to use whenever I run, uh, run across some really good looking wooden cover. The number one bait that I'm most apt to throw when I run across a good looking piece of wood is um, a square bill. I know a lot of guys, their first instinct is to flip it. In my opinion, I, I like to wind stuff. Um, I like to move fast, and I do believe that a square bill really puts the ball in, in your court a little bit. And what I, what I mean by that is, yeah, I can throw it next to a piece of wood and make that bass react. It doesn't have to be hungry. A bass doesn't have to be hungry. Particularly big bass, you know, bass over, you know, depending on what part of the country you're from, four, five, six, seven plus pounds, they like to own a piece of cover. So they'll get on an isolated stump, and that's their stump. And anything that comes by, it's gonna get eaten or scared off. So even if a bass wants to just swat at your square bill because it thinks it's, I don't know, uh, an, an annoying little bluegill, even if it swats at it, you got two sharp treble hooks on the end of it and you can still maybe hook that fish on the outside of the mouth. So I think that kind of preys on their biological instincts a little bit and um, it can allow me to get some quick and easy bites without having to soak a bait and you know potentially waste a lot of time throughout the day. And number two for me is a jig. Um, and, that's, and it's really no secret at all that that's a really big um, producer throughout the country. Um, I don't always like to throw big jigs though around wood. Um, sometimes in the early pre-spawn to maybe summer, um, a bigger jig can work really well but a, a consistent producer is like a 3 8 ounce finesse jig. Uh, this is a Z-Man power finesse jig. And um, you know, it, it's, it's got enough weight so I can flip and skip and you know, with a heavy rod, I'm not overpowering that bait with a, with a stiff flipping rod, but it's got a small compact profile. You know, that thing fits easily in the palm of my hand. That, that's my second option. If I can't get them on a square bill, I'm gonna go through, I'll start soaking a little bit with the jig, and particularly a small jig. And number two, or I'm sorry, number three for me, and this is something that's probably gonna raise some eyebrows, but um, I, I like this swimming worm. Um, I really do. Um, this one is a Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Worm in June Bug color. Um, I, I usually throw two colors in swimming worms, June bug and uh, red shad. I just like this because honestly, I, I'm from the south and our, our lakes, our public lakes get hammered with pressure all year long. 12 months a year, there's a tournament dead gum every weekend of every year. So the fish don't see these speed worms much. I don't know why, but I've hardly heard of anybody throwing them. And you gotta think about it. A lay down on a, on a busy public lake that probably gets fished 10, 15, maybe 20 times a weekend when the weather's pretty outside. So those bass get educated, they get smart. You know, they sit there and watch stuff plunk down on top of their heads all day. And you know, something that it's not quite as familiar with and they don't see very often as, as a speed worm or a swimming worm. So it, it's a great tool. You can swim it, swim it over the branches if they're a little bit more active, if you have a little bit of a breeze. But if it's slick and calm, kind of like it is today, flipping and pitching, it, just like you would a jig, just flip it and pitch it. And as you drag it and hop it, this little cut tail goes doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, just thumps. And again, bass don't see it much. And I, you know, it, it's caught me some really big fish over the past couple of years.